What is going on guys? So today I have a really fun video actually. Okay, so um, I went to kind of a thrift store warehouse kind of thing. I don't even know if I can call it an auction, but yeah, uh, my college was having a little warehouse thing where uh, they grab all, this, all the equipment that they've bought through the years and uh, they sell it for like ridiculous cheap prices so here what you're looking at is a Panasonic and I gotta look up the name again RX FM 16 so um, can't really find what year this was manufactured all I know is that it comes from Singapore uh, 1970s or 1980s if, you, if any of you guys know uh, post in the description below but I have no idea and I got it for a whopping five dollars with no tax okay so uh, let's take a look real fast and uh, I'm actually going to show you guys what uh, me and my friends actually did to it. So, I bought it um, $5 without the cassette uh, aux for it. So, we'll talk about that in a little bit. Uh, so, obviously, I need to do some cleaning and that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to actually do a jump cut after I'm done cleaning it and uh, I'm actually going to talk to you guys a little bit more about it but um right now it's really nasty let's just take a look at the back comes with uh batteries or a place for batteries doesn't come with the little case for it so the batteries might fall out uh, the antenna's huge it's freaking jesus christ sorry guys so Look at this monster. It's kind of tilted. So here, let me, let me put it back. And then you just pop it in here. Now, um, from what I've heard, it's kind of nasty touching this. Uh, from what I heard, it's supposed to be white. Uh, it's yellow. I mean, I don't know where these people had it. It's disgusting. Utterly just... I, I have to sanitize my hands every time I touch it. Stains, I, I don't even know what all this shit is. I don't know how I'm gonna clean this. I, I, I'm gonna have to like, get in between the holes, fuck that. What, what, what the fuck? It, you know? It, did they leave it outside in fucking mud or something? This is just disgusting. If it is from the 70s, this, this is 30 years of just the gunk. I don't even wanna know what's inside. Um, let's actually look at the buttons. So we got uh, four equalizers. Uh, I mean, I don't really touch any of them except the high boost. The high boost, and they all click. They still all work. Um, I'm going to put on some royalty music, free music, in a little bit after I clean it and uh, give you guys a sound demo uh, because I need to clean this thing. It's disgusting. Uh, the buttons, glad to say they all work. Um, I haven't tested... Uh, I haven't been able to test the, the fast forward and reverse. I don't know if that works because what I did was we put a little um, cassette aux, but we'll talk about that again later. Uh, the volume button still works very nicely. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about the power cord in a little bit. So I can't turn this on because if I put it on a radio station, it's just gonna blast fucking uh, uh, the copyrighted music. I don't want this video to get deleted. So anyway, let's just keep looking at this. We got the auto reverse right here. Pause, stop, eject, fast cue, play, record, direction, uh, reverse mode. Uh, I have no idea what this means, honestly. Just click mono, stereo. I don't really know what the difference. We got the, we got the tune. So it, it is a radio. It's a boombox. Uh, and uh, the handle. Does it even have a handle? Oh shit, it doesn't. Anyway, what I thought was pretty cool is that it had a headphone jack. I plugged it in and, well, it still works. So it just shows how headphone technology has not really changed throughout the years. Uh, probably I'm not saying it has to change. The Apple. So let's look at the back here. Um, I mean, this is just, ugh. Nasty, nasty, nasty. Got some fucking bugs. Is that a ladybug? I don't even know. Is that corn? I, I honestly don't even know at this point. Gotta clean all this up. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna clean it up right now. Um, we'll get nice. I'm gonna do like disinfective wipes. Get this shit nice and clean. Then I'm gonna show you what you what we did to it uh, and actually play it for a little bit. Cause 
uh, the speakers on these things are loud as hell. How can I forget to? Also, on the top of cleaning it, gotta get some electrical tape. Look at this. Just, just a hazard right there. The wire is exposed. Let me try to focus onto it. Shit. The wire has been exposed from this side and from the bottom. So, have to get some electrical tape and clean that shit up. So, uh, I'm gonna do a little jump cut again and uh, we'll see the clean version and we will hear um, the sound quality for a 30 or 20 year old little boombox. So, I'll be right back. Uh, before I, uh, I just wanna show you guys how dirty it is inside the cassette tape. I clean it up just a little bit, but uh, this is just disgusting. Alright, so we cleaned it up. It was disgusting. I would show you guys the like cloths and all the disaffected wipes, but I threw them all in the trash. I really did not want to have them on my desk. Um, so we cleaned it all up. Even cleaned the back. It's still kind of gunky, but like uh, honestly, it gives it some character, you know? If this is from the 70s, like it said, or even the 80s, I mean, it's like it's like 30 or 40 years old. That's, that's insane. So, uh, let's finally actually show you guys how the music quality is and what we did. So I went to my local CVS and got me a, one of these Philips cassette adapters. It's aux basically. And uh, what uh, me and my buddy did was, uh, well first off, we like found a way to pop it in. So you basically just kinda move it like that. Slide it in so that, so that uh, the cord it's just barely, yeah, let's move this into the light, it's just barely coming out of the, the little casing for it, which is just perfect. So what we did was uh, we drew a little line with Sharpie right here uh, where the casing actually uh, ended. And what we did was with a Dremel that my friend had, he, uh, he actually Dremeled. I mean, that's, that's like the centimeter, that's like nothing. And uh, now what we do is we just, we just kind of, sorry my hands in the way, we just kind of pop this little cord, which could have not been more perfect size. It's so small. And then we just slid it in. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put another phone on we're going to search up some royalty free music because I don't want to get fucking copyrighted. I can't play the FM either. But uh, we're going to play some and I'm going to show you guys how it sounds. So uh, I'm going to make another jump cut. Alright, so uh, my brother got out some royalty free music on YouTube. Uh, so what you do now is this thing is in there pretty tight. It's not going to move around so you don't have to worry about this. So you have a lot, you have a lot of room to move the cord around. So you got the, you have the music. Now, the thing is, you got to work a little bit with the sound quality. It's kind of half and half. You have to play around with the settings. One thing me and my brother found out is that you really have to push. Um, get, you can't just click it in. Uh, once you put the cassette in, you really have to push it in until like, you hear a snap. Then that's when the quality and th the, the music is going to sound the best. So what you do is you hit play. That turns it on right here. And as uh, so you can hear, you can hear that little monotone. If you've ever put one of these things in your car, you hear the same thing. Let's put the volume up. Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to kind of put it halfway, and then you want to start slowly just putting it up on your phone. So now what we're going to do... See, there was that click. You gotta, every time you turn it on, you gotta make sure that click pops and then the music starts again. And uh, I like just putting the high boost, but you can play around with the settings. You got some high cut, high boost. You got some ambience, and what happens here with the ambience, here I'm gonna put it down, is that right now there's only one speaker playing the right one. So when you get ambience, the quality goes a little bit down, but then you start hearing it from both sides. So 
So anyway, yeah, you can play with those settings. And honestly, um, I'm obviously not going to do it right now, but you can just blast it. The quality obviously goes down, but it's very nice. You can put some batteries back here, and honestly, it was, it was uh, very nice. Got it for five bucks. Anyway, guys, I hope you liked this video. Um, rate, comment, subscribe, and as always, I'll see you guys later.